All right, guys, we are back with a brand new tablet from Huawei. Now, this is called the Huawei Mate Pad Pro 12.2. And you know, if you're just in the market looking for a brand new tablet, you're very really confused with all the offerings out there, but you want your tablet to be able to, you know, naturally act as a tablet for your entertainment. You want it to do your work like a PC kind of laptop. And maybe you also are a professional creator and you want something that actually helps you out with your drawing. Well, this is actually going to help you with all that. Without further ado, let's just jump into the video itself and find out more a little bit about the brand new Huawei Mate Pad Pro 12.2. Let's go. Now, first things first, let's start off with the package because this time round, the package is actually way larger than I expected. Now, what we have here is actually a massive box that not just comes with the tablet itself, but it also comes with the brand new Genius Glide keyboard that I mentioned earlier on. Furthermore, it also comes with the M Pencil stylus and Huawei is also throwing in the free mouse this one right here is actually very nice to use to get it in with the package. So you are getting a full package over here, everything to set you up for all kinds of situations that you might use it for. Now let's take a closer look at the Genius Glide keyboard. What's so special about it? Well, basically this time around, it opens up super easily so you can get into work mode right away. Another cool thing about the keyboard itself is that you can actually store the pencil within it instead of just sitting on top of a tablet, you know, quite flimsy and charging while it's inside. So it's going to give you better storage when you're just putting the pencil back into the keyboard case. Furthermore, if you take a closer look at the keys themselves, you'll notice that they do come with those familiar PC kind of shortcuts. And like always, everything works via Neuralink. That means you don't really have to connect anything via Bluetooth and all that. Whenever you just power on the devices, the keyboard and pencil and mouse itself, they'll all connect via Neuralink, which is super seamless. Now, another thing I noticed about the keyboard when using it is that it's actually very smooth to touch and it's also stain resistant. That means that if you spill any kind of drinks or liquids on it, it's going to be quite easy to actually clean it up. So at the end of the day, you can use it as a normal tablet itself. You can use it together with the Genius Glide keyboard for the PC level setup. Or if you just prefer using a mouse, you can also use it. All right, so now that we're taking a look at the package itself, let's take a look at what the MatePad Pro 12.2 can actually do. And let's start off with productivity. Now, I'm sure many of you are already familiar with Huawei's PC level WPS Office that's pre-installed into every MatePad Pro that you get from Huawei. Now, this is actually similar to your Microsoft Office that you use on your PC. And that means that you can experience all your familiar features with Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So you can imagine doing charts or tables in Excel, you know, creating presentation slides in PowerPoint, creating documents in Word, and again, you can use all those familiar Control C and Control V kind of commands, your shortcuts that you are already very familiar with on the MatePad Pro 12.2. Now, it's also worth mentioning that with live multitasking, it actually allows you to switch between three live apps at the same time. And I think this is actually still quite cool because it's very, very smooth, especially when you're working on a document and suddenly you need to jump to a different application. You can do this step with that live multitasking. While doing so, I noticed that the graphics and interface was actually very fluid. And this brings me to my favorite part of the MatePad Pro 12.2, and that's actually the display at the front. Now, to be specific, it's called the Tandem OLED Plus Paper Map Display. And obviously, it's 12.2 inches in size with a high resolution of 2.8K. Now, the display itself supports a maximum brightness of 2000 nits, allowing you to use it both indoors and outdoors. And because it's a dual layer OLED architecture, it gives you three times the lifespan of a single OLED with 33% lower energy consumption. Now, again, as with all the paper map displays that we've seen in the past, you can expect super strong anti-glare features and reduced reflections. Furthermore, you might also notice that the bezels on the displays are super slim and take a very quick look and you notice that the selfie camera is actually still hidden within the bezel and I think that's actually quite impressive. Besides that, with the 144Hz high refresh rate, it just makes scrolling or navigating across the entire screen super fluid, which I love. Now, I know I mentioned about writing on the display and this brings me to my next point here and that's about Huawei Notes. Now, the Huawei Notes app is actually built to work much better with the M Pencil, which is actually super sensitive. Now, I'm going to do a very quick test right here by putting a couple of pieces of paper above the display. To be specific, about 20 pieces. And you will notice that even by writing above those pieces of paper, the display is still able to pick up the sensitivity of the M Pencil. Now, what's cool about the Huawei Notes app is that it comes with the lasso tool that allows you to drag, resize, recolor, or even enhance your handwriting via AI. There's also a magnifier that allows you to write with even better precision. And right now, Huawei has also included a resource center that gives you free templates, stickers, and more to actually assist with your ideas. So Huawei Notes is now even more improved. And again, it works really well with the M Pencil. Now, although some of you like writing notes, I know there are those of you who also like doing a lot of creative work on a tablet. So if you prefer to draw, you can actually try Huawei's super fun and powerful Go Paint app, which is a free professional painting app pre-installed into the Mate Pad Pro 12.2. Now, other than having hundreds of brushes to choose from, that you can also customize textures and sizes. There's also a couple of new features built into the Go Paint app that you can find today. Now, first up, you have frame by frame animator that allows you to create short cartoons. There's also a couple of new brushes such as the 3D oil painting. Now, it's actually super really 
realistic because whenever you draw on the tablet itself, it feels like painting on the wall. And there's also the brand new splash brush. That means that you just double tap on your M pencil. It feels like you're splashing some paint onto your canvas. Now last but not least, let's go over a very quick overview of the design of the Mate Pad Pro 12.2. Now as you can see here, mine is a green version with that silky texture finish. It's actually very lightweight at just 512 grams and it's super thin at just 5.5 millimeters. Despite being so thin, it actually comes with a 10,100 mAh battery, which is very large that gives you about 14 hours of video. And the most impressive part is its charging speeds. That 10,100 mAh can charge up to 85% in 40 minutes. And if you go to the supercharged turbo mode, it does 100% in 55 minutes. So you won't have any battery anxiety when using this device because it simply charges up so quickly and the battery lasts very long as well. Now, ultimately, what I think about the Huawei Mate Pad Pro 12.2 is that you can actually get a flagship PC level experience on the tablet that is able to work like a PC and at the same time also work like an artboard. I think it's a tablet that both professionals and content creators alike are able to perform at their best on the go. Anyway, if you want to find out more about the Huawei Mate Pad Pro 12.2, do check out the links down below. I'm sure Huawei is going to be giving a couple of freebies, pre-order discounts and all that. So check out the links down below. And with that said, thank you for watching this video all the way to the end and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.